guys welcome back to another video and in today's video we are going to be making these amazing Harry Potter bookmarks um, and they just slot into the book and they're easy and I've already made Gryffindor and Hufflepuff here but you can make the other two houses Ravenclaw and Slytherin too. So to make the bookmarks you're going to need two red strips of card and two yellow strips of card but obviously you can switch it out for the colours of the house you've chosen and also a mini printed out crest of the house and a glue stick. First of all you're going to take two red strips or the colour obviously that you've chosen and glue the top of one of them to the other one. And by the way I don't favouritise any houses, it's just that I didn't have any grey card to make Slytherin or Ravenclaw so I was only able to make Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. So now you need to take one of the other colour strips you have, in this case I've taken yellow, and you need to glue it right next to the red strip, and don't let it overlap or be too far away, otherwise your bookmark will not look nice. So now we need to take the other colour strip, which should be the last strip you have, and glue it right on the top of the strips, but it needs to align with the bottom red strip. So the top is yellow and the bottom is red, but they align next to each other, and it makes a corner of a square, and it has like a yellow cross and then the red line underneath. Now this is the part where you start folding the strips. So as you can see, I can't really explain it, but you just fold it across the first red strip you've done or the colour you've chosen. And then you take the other side red strip and you fold it. But you need to glue these down. I mean, if you don't, then your bookmark won't be very good. It will break easily probably. But the best way to do it is gluing it down. I recommend it. It may take you a couple more minutes but it's really worth it. I've tried it without gluing it down and it's not nice. So yeah, I recommend gluing it. And then you take the other side's red strip and you do the same thing and you just continue doing it again and again with the colours you're using. Red, yellow and you know just continue and it will go right to the bottom. Here I'm just going to do a few more to show you how it's done and then we'll just speed up the video. So as you have seen, we folded all of them down and we've glued them all down, but we have these really annoying flappy things at the end, so you just need to cut them both off unless you do want to keep them. I mean, you can if you want to, but I think it's better if you just cut them off. And yeah. So 
Your bookmark is nearly done, but we just have to cut out the crest of the house and stick it on. So as you can see, that is the crest of the house that I have cut out, Griffined obviously, and we're just going to have to glue it on. So there's the final product and they are amazing. Here's the Hufflepuff one I made earlier. You can just slot them into whichever book you're reading and they're really useful. Just mark your page, easy to make, gorgeous. And yeah, you can even just not have a crest on it and have like any other color you want. It doesn't have to be a Harry Potter one. And there's Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which I've just slot my bookmark into. And yeah, just great to use. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.